Hey guys, it's Parker with Lloyd Vlogs, and we just got a bunch of fish. Let's go check it out. So among getting other things besides fish, we also got a couple live plants, which we've never really wanted to do live plants, but today is the day. All right. So most, all the fish are going into the 40 gallon. Okay. Long story short, but the times I haven't filmed, in the last two weeks I haven't filmed, we've gotten a 92 gallon, which has actually been set up for a while, along with a 55 gallon. So big, that's a big jump from just a 40 gallon. So now we have a 92 gallon and a 55 gallon, along with the 40 gallon and my three gallon upstairs. Um, so first thing we got here is a female beta. Uh, this is the most color colorful beta I've ever seen that's female. Uh, over here, we just have some black worms. We've never done black worms before, fed them, so that's kind of cool. Um, over here, we have the coconut plant. Um, it's a coconut with a plant, it's hollowed out. Super cool, it's a java fern on top. Um, so all these fish are going into the 40 gallon, like I said. Then I got three green sword tails. I am planning to breed these. One male, which has a sword tail, and two females. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, here's the next plant. This is hard to read. Anubius. Anubius something. And finally, the last thing we got are endlers. I have again. One male and two females. I am also planning to breed these. While I let these guys acclimate, I'm gonna go show you guys uh, what else we got. All right guys, so this is everything we got today. Um, I'll just go through in order. Uh, the first things we got here, um, we're some like homemade food that this guy had made. We got some algae wafers, some of them it gets imported. Um, some um, sinking, it's really high in protein. It's supposed to be really good for them. And also since we got a beta for the 40 gallon, a female beta, very important. Um, we got some beta food. Oh, we're gonna need that. Uh, then we got some more bloodworms and a variety pack. Oh, a couple of pack pets. Um, we got some sponges to clean up uh, the sides of the aquariums whenever we need them. Some driftwood, uh, breeder rocks because I'm going to breed the green sword tails and the elders. What are they? Endlers? And whatever they are, they're like guppies. Uh, but they don't eat their young, which is very important. Box of rocks, it's going into the 90 gallon, along with the driftwood. Uh, and then, for our new 55 gallon, which I'll show you in just a second, um, we got two sponge filters, because it's obviously not our show and tell tank. It's actually right, right in there, just, just can't see it. Um, but yeah, let's go check out the 55 gallon. To get to the 55 gallon, we kinda have to take a trip duck okay so this is a 55 gallon long story short we picked this up from a guy that didn't know how to take care of it we cleaned this up like crazy he had like 29 fish in total a couple of them died he didn't even know he had frogs eels tetras bala sharks rainbow sharks everything under the sun um a good look at one of the frogs um came with the lights the, the filter which we were obviously replacing with the sponge filters and came with the stand uh, you can see there's obviously some scratches and the filter just does not work um, But yeah, this is the 55 gallon. Well, let's go check out the 92 gallon. Okay, so this is the 92 gallon or 90 gallon corner tank You guys I don't think I've ever seen this before. There's a coconut. We just dropped it in. We're gonna move it There's a bunch of fish in here from rosy barbs and from the 40 gallon we moved our rose lines because if you remember, the Roseline Sharks originally came with the 40 gallon and moved them into the 90 gallon now. Because Roseline Sharks, Rosy Barbs, Peacock Gungeons, something like that, Green Neon, Tetras, Danio, I think. Um, like everything, there's Super Reds, there's Crayfish. So then let's go check out the 40 gallon. You guys haven't seen that in a while either. This is the 40 gallon. I definitely did some redesigning since the last time you guys have seen this. The rock piece is kind of the centerpiece. We still have all of our fish in here. Um, we, you guys saw the grommies we got. 
Oh, we moved the five neon tetras that were up in the three gallon down here because it was just too crowded. But we still have the guppies up there. Um, there is Agent P back there, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's the 40 gallon. Just a quick update for you guys. Um, these guys are acclimating. But we still have one more task to do. So let's go look at that. And the task is bloodworms. Uh, the lady at the store gave us some instructions on how to take care of them. Uh, so let's try to do that. Okay, so the lady at the store told us to fill this up with about a half inch of uh, just tap water. So let's go do that. And then poke some holes through the top. And so we have that done. And now we just have to add the black words. All right, so then I'm just going to add these in. Uh-oh. All right, so let's place this lid on and take them outside. All right, guys, we're about to add the fish, but we redecorated the um, 55 gallon. We redecorated one side though, I guess. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna slowly kind of transfer like this kind of like look over to here, but uh, we don't have enough supplies for that. So we're gonna keep it like this for right now. And we're kind of getting into natural plants, which is super cool. Now there's an albino rainbow shark, which we've never seen one before. But let's go add the fish in to the 40. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here goes all our fish. So we just put these in here so the bags don't sink. Oh, another fish we're adding to the tank. Swedish fish, all the way from Sweetland. I don't know, okay. All right, here we go. Hang on, let me get down. I have my chest strap on, so. So there are the green sword tails. And add these. There they go. Next goes in our female beta. I think this is gonna add to the tank a lot. And there's our beta. And there's the tank all together. The beta really sticks out, which was kind of what I was hoping for. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up today's video. I probably missed something, but um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one.